Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a very exciting chess miniature which the 4th world chess champion Alexander Alokhin played during a 50 board chess simul against an amateur chess player Holshort. This game was played in 1933 and Alokhin had white pieces opened up with e4. Holshort responded with e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5. Ray Lopez is on the board against which black is choosing Steinis defense d4, bishop d7, bishop takes c6, bishop takes c6, knight c3, e takes d4, queen takes d4, knight takes d4 is an alternative, knight f6, bishop g5, bishop e7, after which we see opposite side castlings, something which leads to a very sharp battle, h4, h6, knight d5, with his last move black attacked white bishop, but Alohan decided to sacrifice it, relying on the vulnerability of the h-file. h takes g5, black accepted the peace sacrifice, here comes knight takes e7 check, first white is removing black's dark squared bishop and after queen takes e7 we have h takes g5. Uh, I have to tell you that according to Stockfish this is an inaccurate sacrifice and with an accurate defense black actually can gain advantage. If rook h4 then rook e8. The idea of rook e8 is to put pressure on e4 in order to meet rook h1 with bishop takes e4. And yes, by choosing this line, black is managing to put tough resistance. But instead after h takes g5, we see knight takes e4. Still, not a losing move, but not as strong as knight h7. Here comes rook h5, both protecting the pawn on g5, and also white wants to double up his rooks on the h-file and announce a checkmate. Queen e6, which is already a terrible mistake and is losing. At this point, f5 could allow black to maintain advantage. If g6, then queen e6. But instead, after rook h5, we see queen e6. A strange looking move. And now let's see how Alokhin finished up his opponent. Here comes rook h1, and already we have a mating threat. f5, black is opening up a loop for his king, but it's too late. As we have reached the critical position, please pause the video and try to find Alokhin's next move. Ready? Now look, if you play a move like g6, uh, cutting black king's escaping route, then simply queen takes g6. That's why instead of choosing this weak move which leads to nowhere, Alokhin made a staggering sacrifice and he played knight e5. This is the move which allows white to win the game. And this is actually a powerful deflective move with which white wants to lure away either black queen or the pawn on d6. Now if queen takes e5 then g6 and yes you can even accept the queen sacrifice as well, who cares, white can announce a checkmate. But what if for example d takes e5, d takes e5 was actually played in the game and it was only after g6 that Holscher resigned. Uh, with his last move, white created a mating threat. And now if you play queen takes g6, then as your d pawn is no longer on d6, you can't play d5, white can play queen c4 check, and this is how white is winning. If you cover your king, then already you can get checkmated. That's why after this beautiful g6 move, we have a resignation. Another instructive attack by Alokhin the fourth, which I hope that you enjoyed greatly. In the end, a chess puzzle for you where the task is to find a winning line for white. It's white to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. In the end, feel free to check out these suggestions as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.